state your business, please. Hi, I'd like to see Dr. Craven. Dr. Craven isn't seeing anybody right now, so just back your car up, turn around, and leave. No, no, Dr. Craven will see me, really. Just call him, please. <sighs> Dr. Craven? What? The young lady who... Dr. Craven, it's me, Nancy Drew. I know you're busy, but I really enjoyed talking to you before. Could I come in, just for a few minutes? Let her in. Somewhat to my surprise, I find that I actually don't mind talking to you. You see, I have a niece back in Philadelphia who's just about your age. Nice girl. Spunky. Insisted on majoring in English or sociology or some such drivel, but a very bright girl nonetheless. Unfortunately, her father, my brother, and I don't get along, so I... I don't get to see her anymore. Anyway, what can I do for you? I need a microscope lens to complete this job Dr. Kim gave me. Only hers is broken. Do you have one I could use? Of course, but I'm not running a charity here. If you want it, you'll have to earn it. The plants down below need to be fertilized. Think you could handle that? You bet. Good. Here's the key to the enclosure housing the plants I want fertilized. Don't even think about leaving before you're finished. They need to be fed now. If you make an error, it will be immediately apparent, and needless to say, I will be extremely upset. Got it. Did that. Haven't done that yet. That should do it. Haven't done that yet. What is it now? I fertilized those plants. Good job. The microscope lens is yours. Anything else? I should go. This has been a real honor. Good luck entomologizing. Done. Haven't done that yet. Yes? He did what? No, 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 no! Those seedlings were irreplaceable! How could anyone be that stupid? Oh, tell me his name. Well, you tell Mr. Fighterman that he is fired. If he isn't off the premises in two minutes, I will come out there and throw him over the fence myself! Yikes! If you have any regard at all for your personal safety, Ms. Drew, you'll leave now! This is where the lens goes. Looks like this has a built-in scale. I can use that little built-in scale to weigh the frass. Can't check that off yet. Hello? Hi, 
morning, Ed. Hey, how's it going? I finally located Dr. Kim, or Quigley as she wants me to call her. What's she like? No, no, wait. Let me guess. She's quirky. Yeah, I mean, she's very smart and very enthusiastic about insects. But for one thing, her voice. It's got this nasally edge to it that's just a little... Like fingers on a chalkboard, huh? Pretty much, yeah. Ouch. Well, back to the bugs. Feel free to call me anytime. Okie dokie. Bye. Hello? Frank? Well, hi, it's Nancy. Sorry, guess I expected Joe to answer. Well, as it happens, Joe's at the clinic getting treated for a concussion. What? What happened? Someone jumped him while he was poking around Big Island Mike's Immersion Center. Just after he left that message for you, in fact. Turned around and wham! Gets knocked unconscious by someone swinging a big wooden mask. So you don't know who did it? Not yet. So what's going on with you? Well, let's see. Phew! This Quigley lady sounds like she's gonna be a real taskmaster. Anything I can do to help? I could use some help identifying some of the plants that the frass jars are hanging next to. I'll take a look around here, see what kind of information I can dig up. I'll let you know what I find out. Great. That's it for now. Talk to you later. I can check this one off. Done with that. Can't check that off yet. <laughs>